Yes, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the, I think it's the fourth or the fifth uh, virtual study visit for the Rubismo project. Sadly, it's the last one as well. So it's been uh, such a success. So um, really happy that we, we've had this, uh, this setting of uh, study visits. So today we will be uh, traveling to, to Ireland first, uh, visiting the, the farm from Catherine and Jim, uh, a sheep farm, uh, also having some really interesting uh, touristic activities. And then we will uh, fly all the way to Poland and looking at a dairy organic farm. Uh, so this presentation will be available on our uh, YouTube channel. So uh, you, you could have a look at it afterwards. Uh, we will start with uh, Catherine and Jim uh, and then having a few questions to them because they have to leave. Uh, uh, at half past, and then we will uh, go to, to Poland and questions for them after. So, uh, yeah, sit back, enjoy the view, and if you have any questions, please please write them in the chat, and we will take them after the presentation. Thank cool. you so much for that introduction. The floor is yours. Thank you, Justin. Good morning from the west of Ireland here on the Wild Atlantic Way. I'm Catherine. I'm Jim. It's great to be here. Thank you for inviting us. And it's a beautiful day here on May the 18th. We're right here at the gateway to the Connemara region and mm -hmm. delighted to show off our sunshine for a change. So I'm going to start with a video presentation of the Glenkeen Estate. And under the Glenkeen Estate, there are a number of businesses. But today we will be presenting the Glenkeen Estate Farm Visitor Attraction for you. So I'll just play my video here and enjoy. Greetings, my name is Catherine O'Grady Powers and welcome to our home at Len Keane Estate on the Wild Atlantic Way on the west coast of Ireland. My name is Jim, Jim Powers. We moved over here in 1999-2000. It's been quite a journey and I'm sure you'll enjoy the experiences that we have to show you. We look forward to welcoming you to Glen Keane. Actually, the buildings you see in the background stem back with my own ancestors to the 1600s. They lived and farmed the lands at Glen King. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this week we're showing you a historical map showing the, the cluster villages at Glen Keen before the impact of the Great Irish Famine and the evictions of 1847. Oh, sorry, uh, could you please unmute? I, my mistake. Age and the tangible assets of Bronze Age sites, ancient burial grounds, and pre famine tenant farm cabins. These assets have been protected here and preserved over generations. And we are really, really proud to continue this great work right through to the present day. This is done through our restoration and conservation projects. Glen Keen was one of the most densely populated areas of the Duloc Valley. And here are some stats taken from my cousin and local historian, John Lyons, who wrote a book, The History of Lewisburg. We are so thankful to John because he has shared his extensive knowledge and research. And this has enabled me to retrace our, our ancestors' footsteps. And we're so very fortunate that this beautiful landscape is a living museum, folks. It's really a monument to those who have lived here before us. We are delighted to participate in the Ribismo Cafe Talks today. Thank you so much for inviting us. Glen Keane is one of the largest privately owned estates in Europe. It is designated by the European Union as a special area of conservation. The land here still retains the ecology of the Ice Age. Now, Glen Keane, a large estate, comprises of multiple businesses. We added an agritourism farm experience back in 2013, and we also have an export business and a working sheep farm business on the estate. So after years of planning, we also received a grant from LEADER, the Southwest Mayo Development Company, for the construction of a state-of-the-art tourism facility at Glen Keane. And we opened our doors 
for business in July 2014, where we sell and promote authentic Irish farm visitor experiences to the international market. Our tourism facility includes a commercial kitchen, large lecture area, dining area, on-site retail shopping experience, and an outdoor demonstration areas for our guests. We're mainly focused on group tourism, and this is the economically sustainable model for our rural tourism business. We have identified that by catering for large group tours, we can maximize the guest experience and minimize operational costs. And we look mainly to international visitor markets. They are seeking out authentic, real Irish activities where they can enjoy an immersive experience. And they really like that connection with local people. Jen and I have invested a lot of time, capital and effort into promoting not just Glen Keane, but indeed the region here as a quality destination for visitors from the international market where they can enjoy authentic Ireland. We're always continuing to improve and invest our on-site facilities here at Glen Keane. And in 2020, we invested in the introduction of two pedestrian footbridges. This will really enhance our guest experience and create a historical looped tour of Glen Keane. We were very fortunate and delighted to receive the grant support of the Southwest Mayo Development Leader Company towards the cost of the project. Now, there are great supports available in Ireland for businesses, and we are so grateful. Huge thanks to Mayo Local Enterprise Office, Leader, Mayo County Council, Falsha Ireland and Tourism Ireland for their wonderful support, especially in the rural development areas. This video presentation includes an introduction to some of our guest experiences here at Glen Keane. We hope you enjoy it and thank you again for inviting us. And we provide a range of experiences when you visit Ireland. Today, you're going to see a snippet of our sheepdog herding experience with our amazing border collie, Jill. Jill is three and a half years old dying to strut her stuff, and she's trained on verbal and whistle commands. The verbal command for Jill to go right is go right. Keep left is keep left, and straight on is walk on. So let's see how she does, folks. Come on. Go right. Keep left. Go right. Easy, easy. Go right. Easy, easy, girl. Keep left. Go right. I'm going to use my whistle now. And keep left whistle command is. Easy. Go right. <clears throat> Sit. Easy, look back. Easy. Walk on. I want her to proceed on and stop them before they get to the top of the field. Keep left, keep left. Good girl. And our sheepdogs love praise. I want to split the sheep. Come to me, come to me. Walk on, go right, go right. Keep left, keep left. Walk on, walk on, go right. Go right, right, that'll do, come to me, look back. So training the dog to look back, especially up in the mountain, is a really important trait in case they leave any of the flock behind. Walk on, walk on. So we're in one of our upland fields here and we have to clear it. There's about 130 yos and baby lambs. So about 260 sheep and uh, the dogs are going to get to work. Okay, I'm here with Liz in the background and Jim is way over the far side of this field with Jill. So we're gonna meet in the middle, see how we go, come on. So it's always a bit tricky moving 
use when they have lambs with them because they're so concerned about the protection of their little baby lambs that it provides some challenges for the dogs, but they always overcome them in the end. So this is going nice and smoothly, folks. We're approaching the exit gate and that leads out to the Boreen, which leads on to the main R335 or the Wild Atlantic Way. So it's going to take about two miles to reach the other side of the farm with this flock. Hope all goes smooth. I'm just going to stop sharing the screen for a moment um, to get up my PPT. And uh, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, Jim doesn't have an accent from the West of Ireland. <laughs> He's all the way from the USA. So I have to say I'm very, very fortunate that Jim committed to this enormous project when we took over the estate in 1999. And as he mentioned earlier, it has been quite a journey. So um, it's uh, a pleasure to have him in this uh, project. So I have a presentation now that I'm going to share with you. And it just gives an overview of one of the, the businesses that's um, under the Glenkeen estate. And that is the Glenkeen Farm Visitor Attraction Experience. So just a background on the estate. It's one of the largest privately owned estates in Europe owned by Jim and I. It spans over eight generations and it stems back to the 1600s uh, with my own family and my own ancestors here on the estate. Glen Keane has an EU designation as a special area of conservation. As I mentioned earlier in the video, the land here still retains the ecology of the Ice Age. So we're very fortunate to live in such a beautiful place. And the fact that the estate was entrusted to us to preserve, pr protect and develop for future generations. Um, the multiple businesses include um, under the estate includes the visitor attraction, a working sheep farm business and also an export business. Um, so we are exporting Irish whiskey mainly to Asian markets. But any, any of the viewers, if they have an interest, they can contact us directly. Um, I'll just share my next slide. Um, the Glen King Farm Vista attraction that we're presenting today opened its doors in 2014. The construction of a purpose-built facility started at the beginning of 2013. So uh, just less than 12 months allowed us to open the doors to a brand new space here. And we were very fortunate after years of planning, development and raising the capital and indeed the grant support of LEADER, the Southwest Mayo Development Company, was pivotal in our decision in proceeding with the project. It's really unlikely we would have proceeded with the project without the grant support. Also, our launch in 2014 coincided with the Fall to Ireland launch of the Wild Atlantic Way, a phenomenal piece of infrastructure for the country of Ireland um, that really stages us on a global market. And it was really um, essential to the launch pad of our own business here. This view is uh, the view you see behind us here. It's uh, 
from our uh, purpose built visitor attraction building and we ensured that all of the uh, views really took in the landscape. We really wanted to bring the beautiful surrounding landscape right into the building for our visitor experience here. The mountain there is Muilri. It's the tallest mountain in the region of Connacht at 814 metres, and it still retains plant life from the ice age on the mountain. This photograph here um, is uh, of my grandfather with his work colleagues and friends. And uh, the reason I put it in here is because there is such strong linkage with my own ancestors and family and the land here. And uh, this is part of the Dulac farm that also used to form part of the estate uh, when we were under British rule. And this is the majestic Duloc Valley. The Glenkeen estate runs right through the Duloc Valley. And this is an example of the glacier period and the carving of beautiful valleys. And in my opinion, it's my favorite place here on the farm. We're very fortunate it's on our doorstep. This gives an aerial view of um, the farm visitor experience building that was uh, built for our visitor attraction at Lenkeen Estate. And we wanted a building that was going to be sympathetic with the landscape and really fit in with the landscape. And I think John Lamb engineers um, did a wonderful job in achieving this. We looked at uh, past activities and existing activities on the estate to create our visitor experiences for our guests. And what we identified was authentic events that happen here. So the number one visitor experience is the sheepdog herding, which you sampled earlier in the video. And that really gives the guests an in-depth experience of our working sheepdogs, the breed of dogs that we have here at Glen Keen, and also the breed of sheep that we farm. And it also um, gives the cultural aspect of the estate here because when you look around the landscape is a living museum it's a testament to Irish history our own ancestors history here and indeed we can interpret this landscape and the changing changes of the structures the population and the practices that have taken place over the centuries the traditional turf cutting experience here, we had to get special permission from state bodies to deliver this visitor experience because it is protected here as a special area of conservation. And indeed, the peatland habitats, rare and unique that exist here, are the lungs of the earth. They are so essential in um, the environment. So we also provide guided historical walks and we're very fortunate that the cultural assets that exist here do so over centuries, dating right back to the Bronze Age. And you can see the change in structures, people's habits, how they lived, where they lived, and the type of structures that they live in right through to the present day. Traditional wool spinning was something that we identified of um, as an authentic experience where the guests can see the harvesting of the wool through the sheep shearing process, then it's turned into yarn and it's dyed using organic um, material to, for the natural dyeing process and then the creation of a beautiful product. So it's literally back to back and we work with a lady who has a company called Back to Back to deliver that experience. Uh, Pre-famine homesteads and landscape visits, uh, private hikes and mountain hikes, taking in the fabulous landscape that really is a testament to Irish history. When you walk on the landscape here, you are walking over the unharvested potato ridges from famine times. And that's really etched in the landscape, a constant reminder of the history here of our ancestors and indeed the whole Western region. The immersive, cultural, fun, traditional music and dance experiences. All of our experiences are really designed to bring the visitor into the experience so they can participate. And what that leaves with them 
is a lifelong memory of their visit to Glen Keane and the west of Ireland here. The estate spans over eight generations and I can date my own ancestors here right back to the 1600s. And now Jim, our son James and myself live here. Awards, we're very fortunate and very proud that we have won several, several awards here. Um, we work with international tour operators, CIE Tours International, and we have achieved a number of gold awards of excellence and also the Mayo Business Awards. And last year, very proud to announce we won Innovation on the Farm. And this was part of the Ireland Awards for Women in Business and Agriculture. And the achievement of the awards is really testament to the fantastic team and the spirit of the people that assist us in delivering our guest experiences here and also the people that help us and work on the estate. So we're very fortunate that we have an amazing team and wonderful people here. On the last slide, I have listed um, the visitor attraction social media links for anybody that would like to connect with us directly and uh, please do so or send us an email, follow us on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. And I really hope that you enjoyed our uh, presentation of the Glenkeen Estate Visitor Attraction today. Thank you so much for this opportunity. It's really a pleasure to be here. Thank you.